What's up, YouTube? It's me, your girl, at K. Clenora, and I'm back with another motherfucking video, period. I don't know why I'm making this video, bruh. I gotta make a, um, I need to be practicing, because I gotta make a video today, which I don't want to. I just want to pour me a drink and call it a day. But I'm not gonna do that because I gotta make a video. Um, I don't know what song I'm gonna sing, but it will be a singing video, and I'm gonna try to do it today. And um, I may not even upload this video, but I just wanted to let y'all know that I just my stove went out, so. My stove went out and I can't warm my pizza up because I ain't got no stove. Like, literally, it's, it's like, let me show y'all. Like, look at it. My stove is dead, bruh. Like, literally dead. It won't come on nothing. Like, it's literally dead. So, what do I do? <laughs> Y'all want to know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do. So, let's sit y'all here. We can sit y'all here. Y'all, it's dirty in my house. But I don't care, bruh. I had apples. I'm going to warm my pizza up. In my I'm going to warm my pizza up in my crock pot. And this is what I wanted to show y'all. Let's turn it up. Bump this thing up. It's going to take forever for this motherfucking pizza to warm up in this crock pot. So, that's why I'm going to do it now. And, y'all don't feel like practicing, but I know I need to. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Let me stop playing. I don't even know what song I'm going to sing, but, um, I think it's very healthy to spend time alone. You need to know how to be alone and to, like, literally, that's how I'm feeling right now. Like, I just want to be alone right now. Not without my baby. Y'all know I love my baby. But if he was here, my life would be so much better right now. If my son was here, um, my life would be so much better, y'all. But I'm thankful that he is in good hands and he got foster parents that love him and take care of him and that's all I want for my son. You see what I'm saying? Let's put this one over here. Mind y'all, I still don't know like what to do with my hair. I don't like this hair no more. Like for one, it's oh I know what to do. <laughs> I'ma do this. It hurt. It hurt right there in the middle. Matter of fact, y'all, come on so I can do my hair. Okay, so let's do my hair. Um, I'm not going to do my edges because I don't feel like it. I'm just going to put it back. Put it back. Damn, I'm beautiful, bro. Should I do it like this? Let's see. I'll probably take a little more than that. It's so nappy. And I hate that it's so nappy. I hate that. And I don't have no mousse or nothing, bro. I hate that it's so nappy. <laughs> I'm 
have no idea why I just did that. Just put that over there. This is admit that I haven't been getting creative with my hair. Creative as I normally would. And um, so if I don't like it, I can it makes me want to get creative now, y'all. But I don't feel like doing my edges, so I'm just about to pull it back like this. Like this. Let's see my face. I meant to shave. Damn, I forgot to shave, y'all. I'll shave tonight before I go to bed. I meant to shave. I need to shave up under my arms. earrings in. They're supposed to be gold, but they're brown. Don't talk about my earrings. I'm feeling hoopy today, so I'm going to put my hoops in. Because I'm feeling hoopy. Y'all. I'm so mad at myself, and I'm gonna tell y'all why. I'm gonna tell y'all, know I'm gonna tell y'all why. I'm so mad at me right now, bro. It's such a shame. dirty as hell bro who is hot hot it's hot all right so i just do the wings because i really don't want pizza so i'll just do the wings oh baby you got what i need as you say i'm just a friend but you say I'm just a friend. Oh, you can't give me one good reason why you wouldn't want this kind of girl. Cause I say this, I say that, and you know, you know I'm fly. Boy, stop playing games with me. And I, for, before I get me another man that'll please me. <laughs> Fact. But these wings, they about to be so good. Let me draw this out. I normally don't dry it out, but since I don't want my wings wet, I'm going to dry it out. I ain't washing no dishes. I'm going to use that plate that I used last night, and I'm going to eat off of it. I've been doing so good with my nails, y'all. <laughs> they popped off like <laughs> a couple of times. 
But I've been such a lady because I've been gluing them back on. This one popped off yesterday. But I could tell that I'm getting better because when they pop off, they don't break in half like they used to do. They just pop off and I'm able to glue it back on. Damn, I smell good. Mm. I just took a shower, y'all. Y'all know I had to take me a little shower shower. A little sha sha. All right. So let's get these flats in there. Look how good that look. Mm. I can eat them cold, but I don't want to um have to go to the bathroom after this. So I'm going to... Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and warm them up. You know what, I'm not even hungry. I just lost my appetite, bro. Y'all, I just lost my appetite. That's a shame. I'm not really hungry, bro. Oh. Hold up, give me a second. I just lost my appetite. And I want to cry because I just lost my appetite. <laughs> but I'm going to be a big girl. <sighs> okay. Let's get this wing back in there. Besides, I don't feel like cleaning out the crock pot. So, I done started. I'm going to finish it. I got four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll leave those sevens in there because my baby is seven. He is the big seven. And he is the most smartest, creative, um, handsomest seven-year-old I know. And I'm not just saying that because he's my baby. <laughs> I am saying that because he's my baby. <laughs> but he is so smart. His personality is so popping. When I went to see him, um, I didn't see him this week, y'all. But I will see him tomorrow. And that kind of, you know, hurt me because I didn't see him. But I'm going to get to see him tomorrow. So, um, when I went to see him, right... This lady there gave him a little car. It was gaslight, 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 gaslight. Like I said, the narcissist used my words and try to mess with my memory. I know that I'm being gaslighted. I wrote it down. I'm starting to write things down. And it does make it like a hundred times better. So I'm gonna let these cook in the crock pot. Shit, probably for like an hour because it's gonna take a long time for them to get hot. But, um, I got it up on high, so hopefully it won't take that long. Let me put the timer on, and I'll be right back to finish telling y'all the story about my son. And plus, since it's Friday, y'all, I'm going to make me a drink, okay? So, when I went and see my baby, and this lady had gave him a car, and so um, I told him that the lady gave him a car, and let me get a napkin. He was like, what lady? I was like, that lady in there. I was like, go say thank you. Like that. Him being the little man he is, he gonna go up in there and say, raise your hand if you gave me this car. <laughs> I was like, that's my boy. Like, y'all, he is so funny. He is so, like, I love him. I love him. My son is not, like, a mean child. Like, my baby, you... And he has always been a happy baby. Like, oh my gosh. He has always been a happy baby. And I learned that you can always tell who a person is by their children. You know how you meet just some sweet ass children? They be super sweet. They listen. They just like many adults. Like when children listen, it's like, 
Oh my gosh, they are, they're, they're just the sweetest thing. And my son, he is so fucking sweet. That's why I go hard for him. Because I know his little personality. He's so, he's so laid back and chill. And really, I'm laid back and chill too. But people be fucking with me. And I have to, you know, let them know. Like, bitch, you're not going to disrespect me or whatever. And, um... But... And then you can see those little kids that don't like to listen, like just make, just so conniving. It's because that's how their parents are. They, they're, that's, they're learning from their parents. So that's what I do. If I can't deal with your child and you the type of person that be like, don't hit my child, don't say nothing to my child. Like, you better get that little motherfucker away from me. I'm serious. I don't play with children. I'm sorry. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. If, if, if you got grown kids, you will never see me around a grown child because we have nothing in common. Sit your ass down. That's my thing. Like, what possibly can I talk about with a child you know other than children's shit see like with my son we talk but he talked to me and i talked to him on his level as a seven year old do you get it but some little motherfucking children they be grown as shit so and you wonder why Nobody don't want to come around or, or deal with you. Because your children will run that man away or that woman away. Yes. Your children will run, run them away. They'll run them away. But my son, he's so, he's just so pleasant. He's not hard to deal with. That's why whenever he asks me to do something for him, I break my neck to do it because I know what kind of person he is. My son, he have his moments when he when he's spoiled, you know. But other than that, he's he's not really spoiled. If 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 he want to go somewhere and I tell him, baby, mommy don't have the money for it right now. He be like, okay, mommy, don't worry, mommy. It's going to be okay, mommy. Like, my son tell me that. That's why I try to break my neck to get his bunk beds and get things that he like. He love Black Panther. I try to break my neck to, to do whatever he want to do. Because I know, like, if I ain't got no money or whatever like that, my son is the one who let me know. Mommy, mommy I'm fine with this bike. Like, one year, I couldn't even afford him no bike, but he had an old bike. And I was like, I was stressing because I wasn't, I wasn't going to be able to get him no bike for Christmas. And he was like, Mommy, I got a bike right here. I can ride this bike. I like this bike. Like, that's literally my son. Like, he is just a mini adult. He's a mini. He's, he's just a. And when I say mini adult, I'm not saying he talk like, like I said. He have his moments. He have his moments when I got to let him know I ain't your friend, okay? But I like the fact that we can talk about anything. He could talk about how somebody made him feel. I love that, and I keep that open and so that he will be able to come and talk to me, you know, about things because I want to know. I want to know, you know, and I respect his privacy, um, and he's, he's already, you know, doing that now is, um, he's in the bathroom and I walk in the bathroom and on him. He'd be like, mommy, hold up. And I'd be like, oh, I forgot because I'm used to him being, and then this is how he treat me. Tell me why when I go in the bathroom, he can come in the bathroom with me. But when he go in the bathroom, he, it'd be World War II if I walk in to get something for my hair or get my toothbrush or get, just get something real quick. Like that ain't that ain't fair. We gonna have we gonna have to negotiate another outcome for this right here because this is not working. I'm just kidding. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. And then we went to the pool that day, and I was on live with y'all. And I was like, take the shirt off so it won't get wet. And he can wear it home. And he's going to take his little shirt off, and then he look at the camera at you. I was like, boy, you ain't got nothing nobody want to see at all. Don't nobody want to see that little bird chest? That's how we used to do my brother when we was little. My brother used to walk around like he, boy, sit down that little bird chest. Don't nobody want to see that. Yes, y'all. That's a little, he's a little man, y'all. And his foster mom, his foster parents are so so in love with him like of course they are but I wasn't expecting well kind of was expecting it but it's okay because his foster mom is really nice she's a really 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 nice lady I literally am blessed me and my son we are blessed because he could have went to some people who didn't give a damn about him. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, a lot of foster parents, they ain't right. You know? And sometimes people know that they be gaslighting you. And sometimes they don't know that they be gaslighting you. Only thing you need to do is you need to know that you're being gaslighted. Whatever. Don't let that shit ruin your day. So, I got my wings in the crock pot. Um, now I want a pizza, y'all. Y'all see my appetite. It just comes and goes. It comes and goes. But I got my timer on my phone. We're going to go sit down. I'm going to drink my little drink. And... Yeah, I think I'll be back. Y'all want to talk to me? I am so beautiful, y'all. I am so beautiful. And I love my hair. Like, why didn't I think of this before? Let's turn around. How do it look in the back? Oh, I dropped the lemon on the floor. Picked up. Y'all, I need to clean up. Let me tell y'all, I got boxes everywhere, like trash everywhere. I need to get a dirty clothes basket. I just thought about that. My hand itching. I'm about to get some money. How I woke up today, how I felt today when I woke up, I woke up on some business because I thought somebody was trying to take my money so i woke up because you ain't you ain't messing with no dummy i graduated from college and i know how to count baby okay i know what i had i know what i should have left stop playing with me and what pissed me off is because when i was trying to see like why my money is missing the lady gonna try to throw me off and go back to dates that don't even matter i'm like look bruh like i was trying to be sweet you know and professional but don't play with me, okay, bruh? Like, I went to call that lady, bruh, like, bruh, she hurry up and sent me to the supervisor. Like, you better send me to somebody because guess what? I need my money. And I ain't going nowhere until I get my money. And guess what? I got my money. Don't play with me. Don't play with me at all. I just been going off the last two days. Like Thursday, I woke up. I had to go off on the foster care or a uh, uh, DCF because I haven't seen Noah all week. Like right now, this is a crazy situation for Noah to be in. Okay, and at seven years old, I would be really sad if I was him. Like I'd be really, really hurt if I was him. You know what I'm saying? And as long as he know he get to see his mom on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and when he always telling his mom, I just miss you. Like, when he said that, I was like, damn, my baby can't even think. 
You see what I'm saying? Because he missed me just that much. He missed home just that much. He missed his room. He missed his clothes. He missed his bike. He missed his stuff. He missed his home. And, um... He don't get to see me on Tuesdays or Thursdays? No, y'all ain't finna do Noah like that. See, Noah may can't stand up and tell y'all how he feel. That's why he got me. I've been talking to supervisors all week. Y'all better tell me something. We need to get some consistency, baby. I am a consistent person. I am not an inconsistent person. I'm very consistent. Once I put my mind to something... I'm going to stick with it, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to see it through. This is my life. Waking up, making breakfast for my son every morning. You see what I'm saying? Some days I don't make breakfast. Sometimes he makes his breakfast himself, and that's fine. But we are consistent in what we do. I'm a very consistent person, and all I saw was inconsistencies. That's it. So y'all going to have to do something to show me something. Y'all gonna have to do something. I ain't ratchet. I ain't ghetto. I'm not any of those things. I'm not ignorant. I'm not illiterate. I'm not any of those things. So you're gonna have to come at me like you on my side. Because you saying all this. And then I keep asking the guy, when is my son going with my sister? That still haven't happened yet. He gonna tell me to my oh he put the paperwork in just like I told him, if you put the paperwork in like you said you put the paperwork in, it shouldn't take this long. It been a whole month since m March since I went to court after court. This was in in the process three weeks ago. Come on, bro, what's the problem? Tighten up, call them, cause I tried to call them. Y'all already know me. Oh, <laughs> y'all already know I I called. I sure did. I am the mother of Noah Haynes, and um, I'm calling from Naples, Florida, and my caseworker sent my case to you guys because my son is in foster care, and he's um, is um, going with my sister, and I'm calling to see if you guys receive my paperwork so we can get my son to my sister, period. Did y'all know how to talk? I ain't no dummy. I've been on my own since I was 16, baby. One thing about me, I know how to survive. But I ain't trying to be in survival mode. I'm trying to live. I'm not trying to survive. I'm trying to live. I know how to survive. I know how to make do with what I got. You see what I'm saying? But I ain't trying to do that. I'm trying to live. I want to live. I want to be on the beach. You see what I'm saying? With my little drink cocktail with my hat on my head. Y'all, I've been, my skin is so pretty. Mm, 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 mm. I am one pretty fool. I said pretty fool. <laughs> pretty fool. I am pretty fool. I am, I'm pretty and beautiful. But I just want to like, um, ask y'all how y'all doing. Y'all been listening to my shit. <laughs> And I just want to make sure, well, ask y'all how y'all doing. So, how y'all doing? I hope that everybody that's out there is having a wonderful Friday. And whatever you're going through, if you're going through something, know that it will get better. Trust me. Okay? Know that the devil may be busy, but God is in control. Know that. I am full of energy, love, and joy. Make sure y'all download those affirmations I told y'all about. And I just discovered an idea for my channel. And I'm thinking about making another channel. But I'm not going to tell y'all what it is yet. I'm just going to show y'all. So, I may make another channel with my other account. And just have this for this account. This this would be like... I may change this into a family account like Noah said. Noah said make it a family account. I may make this a family account. 
I got a lot of shit on here. Probably, I don't know. I'm going to think of something. I don't know. But I'm going to think of something. Baby, when I tell you these hot wings are looking, they are glistening. Baby, let me show y'all. Look at that. Y'all can see the glisten through the through the thing, through the glass. So the timer is on 12, so I guess I can stand up here for like 12 minutes until it get done. Because you know why I'm standing up here? Because I was going to go in my room and sit down, but I can't listen to music with y'all. And y'all know I love music. So that's all I really do is listen to music. And I can't do that because YouTube going to flag me and I ain't trying to get flagged or whatever. But hold on one minute, y'all. be right back. Uh-oh. Yeah, YouTube be flagging, so... Stupid, stupid. Hold on, y'all, because I'm about to get on my live, so hold on. Yeah, um, we don't believe in half brothers and step brothers and stuff like that. Like, if we got the same mama or the same daddy. We brothers and sisters. Like, we don't say, oh, that's my half-brother. We don't do that. The only way we do that, black people, the only way we do that is if we're, like, we have a blended family. We're, we'll probably say it then, but we don't believe in that shit at all. I don't even like when people say step this, oh, this is my stepdaughter. I don't even like when people say this is my bonus daughter, but... I got abandonment issues, so y'all already know. But my abandonment issues, for real, has made me the person I am today. Like, I never want someone to feel left out. You see what I'm saying? So that's especially why I don't, you know, say things like that. And if I'm doing something for my son, and my son got a friend or whatever... Like his foster brother, I'm going to do the same thing for his foster brother. Because I don't want his foster brother to feel left out. And that's because of my abandonment issues, y'all. No lie. I'm on POF, y'all. They don't be talking about nothing on POF, bro. So I'm, I'm just about to go live because I should go live on Facebook, huh? I don't want to go live on Facebook. I don't want to go live on Facebook. I'm sorry that your many home. I'm sorry that yours left your love. Y'all make sure y'all go follow me on IG. 
IG. I barely be on. I be on IG more than people think I be. I, I, I just be. I just don't post things. I just don't be posting, but I do be on there being nosy. All of y'all business. I do. I be like, damn, I didn't know that bitch. <laughs> but I don't comment and, and try... I don't comment and try to tell a motherfucker how to live their life, bitch. Because if you like it, I love it. Period. If you like it, I love it. I'm sorry. Why this phone blurry, though? Did I say that right? Blurry? I felt like I put a little too much er in it. Blurry. Why this phone blurry, though? There she go. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. It hurts me to my heart. I know I dropped that on the floor. I ain't worried about that, y'all. My house is dirty, boy. My house has never been this dirty. I gotta clean up. Y'all know when I clean, I'm a clean. When I clean, I'm a clean. Cause I can't help it that you Look at my hand. I got to take this out my head, bro. I love it because it made me feel like a goddess. It made me feel like a princess. It made me feel like a car on. But, y'all, no matter how big I get, my neck don't. Oh, look at these titties. Ooh. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> you know I don't like you motherfuckers who had babies and breastfed and your titties still sit up because my shit look like orangutan. I was looking at myself the other day. I was like, damn, my titties done got lower. These bitches getting lower and lower. Next, I'm going to have flapjacks. Nah, they ain't flapjacks yet, y'all. I think if I take this bra off, y'all will really get to see how my titties look. I'll show y'all how they look. Not how they look, look, but how they look in the shirt to see so y'all can see how how low they've gotten. I love my titties though. They so pretty. Alright, so I'm not. <laughs> I'm eating off of this, y'all. This is what I ate off last night. I'm not eating this blue cheese, though. Throw that away. Get this off. Don't know what this is. I'm not cleaning it. I'm going to eat like this. I'm not cleaning it. So, I haven't had furniture in my house since 2019. That is a long time. When I got my table, well, I'm still waiting for my table, but I got the chairs and I put the chairs together. Sitting down in a chair in my house felt like heaven. I was like, oh my gosh, this, oh, oh, this feel like some good sex right now. <laughs> Like, literally, it felt so good to just wait, just wait, like, just wait. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fix my house up. Like, that's what I'm going to do. And if I move, then I'll just take all my stuff with me. So, like I said, I got my son's bunk beds. I got my, my, um, my couch. I got my, um table i got my uh computer stand i got me a exercise machine because i'm about to get rid of these i'm gonna exercise y'all i'm gonna exercise wait as soon as i get my mind right let me get my mind right first okay because it's a process to this thing i'm not just gonna uh 
what they call it? Go cold turkey on this thing. You feel me? I'm not, this crock pot is hot. Let me move this motherfucker over. Ooh, and the air conditioning is on, the fan is on, and I'm hot. Mm -mm, don't make no sense. But, um, let me get my mind right. Cause my mind not right at all. <laughs> I was so ugly when I did that. Uh oh, uh oh, oh uh. So let me get my mind right. You feel me? But for real, let me get my mind right, and then I'ma exercise. Like I saved my house the other day, and I told myself that I was gonna sage my house like every month. And saging my house, it makes me feel. Uh, cleanse you know and um that made me feel really good but i got a lot of stuff going on and i can't say that if i didn't have all this stuff going on and i mean in the house right now the house is you understand me the house is just <laughs> stuff is everywhere right now and that's why i said i was gonna put that exercise machine together last so if my phone about to die but hopefully the hot wings will be all right y'all so um the timer went off i had to put the phone on the charger as well there we go all right so y'all probably see the track right there i don't give a damn what y'all see and the timer went off for the wings I can check them. I'm not washing this. So let's see if they're soft. Oh yeah, they pretty. They they pretty are soft. But oh. Ow. Hey Miss Parker, where the hell do that come from? Alright, so anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, the wings are, um, done cooking, but since I'm not done with my drink, I'm going to let them cook while I finish drinking, drinking my drink and talking to y'all. But yeah, I'm on POF and YouTube at the same time. So anyways, I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, my my house. My house is like major. I got stuff everywhere, baby. But it makes me feel good. Like, the more it comes along, the more I'm like, ooh. You know, it, it, the more it feels like a home. And that makes me feel good. Like I said, I haven't had furniture in my house since 2019. It's a very long time not to have furniture, okay? And the reason why is because when I got my when I first got my apartment in 2015, I went to Craigslist to get furniture. And I got the furniture from a white lady, a white couple. So, y'all already know that white people be taking care of their stuff better than black people do so don't don't be trying to come at me like oh because y'all know it's true so the furniture was from ashley furniture it was a nice furniture it was like a, um uh 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 a couch bed it was like yeah it it was like a i don't know what they call it but it was like a couch bed a couch bed and I got the couch bed because I didn't have a bed at the time. Noah didn't have a bed at the time. So I said that I would get the couch and kill two birds with one stone and get this couch with this bed. And that's how I ended up getting my couch. I think I paid like $170 for that couch. Or maybe I just paid $70. I don't even remember. That's how long ago it has been. 
but it was in great condition. They did not smoke in their house. It did not smell like cigarette butts. They didn't have no cigarette burns. As a matter of fact, I put a cigarette burn in there when I got it. But, um, and when I sold, sold it, it was still in good condition. It's just that I just wanted my own. I don't know if anybody ever felt that way. It's like when you get a used car. You know, you're thankful for that used car, and you're going to drive that used car. But at some point, you just want your own. You know, it's just like having an apartment. Like, I'm thankful for my apartment, but one day, I just want my house. I just want a house. You know, I'm going to get me a house. And that's how I felt. And so, that's how I got my, 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 um, my living room set. I never put tables with it. I never put anything with it because it was brown. So in my mind, I was like, black is not gonna go with brown. So I never could find the perfect tables to go with my brown um, couch. Cause that, that was the color of my, my living room. My living room was brown, gold, and red. Beautiful colors. You see what I'm saying? But I couldn't find anything to really go with it because it's brown. You know what I'm saying? Like those brown cabinets. If I try to match that brown, something's going to be off because it's brown. It's not black. You know, and you can find black in every shade of black. And it's different. But brown is a really hard color to try to decorate with. So, I really didn't have the urge to decorate once I seen that I wasn't going to find the tables that I liked. I couldn't find tables that I liked. And so, how I got my dining room table is because I was driving one day, do, 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 and I see these people got some stuff in the grass. And I'm like, oh, shit, I like that table. And so, I, I, got, I, I stopped my car, got out, looked at the table. I'm like, how much you want for this table? I don't know why everybody told me $70. I don't know why I remember $70, but that's how much I paid for the table. It was one of those tables where... You can take the centerpiece out and make it a circle, or you can put the centerpiece in and make it an oval. And at that time, I had the centerpiece in. But I bought it from a black person, and the, the seats of the chair was so dirty. It was white, though. It was white, and white get dirty fast. And so it was so dirty. So what I did was I went to Walmart and bought a tablecloth. And... This would have made a good video because I'm very creative. And I cut the tablecloth to fit the chair covers. And I glued the chair covers down and made new chair covers out of the tablecloth. Then I went back to Walmart and bought another tablecloth. And I put it on a table. And it matched my living room. And that's how I got that. But people, when people used to come in my house, my house they was like, where do you get this from? I'd be like... I bought it from somebody, but I put those tablecloths on there myself. And I put it on with a glue gun. And it was really pretty. And then my room, how I got my bed in my room, my king-size bed. I have a king-size bed in my room. So mind y'all, it's really expensive to buy for a king-size bed. But I'm not getting rid of my king-size bed. I'm keeping my king-size bed. Now, I don't care what nobody say. I'm keeping it. Even if I have to keep it on the floor like it is and buy me a comforter, which I did, to put it on there, I'm keeping my king-size bed. You don't know how convenient a king-size bed is when you have a motherfucking kid. Do you understand me? I only have one child. And getting him... When my son comes sleep in my damn bed, he take up the whole damn king size bed. How in the hell I have one piece of this king size bed? So imagine how it would be if I had a queen size bed, okay? So I'm keeping my king size bed. But how I got my king size bed, again, I was on Craigslist. I bought my first apartment, I bought everything off of Craigslist. I bought everything from somebody. And so... I went on Craigslist and I seen this nice little bedroom set. It was brown again, brown, but it wasn't this color brown. My table was this color brown. My furniture was this color brown, but a little darker. And my bed was dark brown. 
So I had this brown thing going on, but it was different color browns. And I'm like, I'm sick of this fucking brown. <laughs> my bed was like my skin color. It was pretty. It was like beautiful. And it came with like a, a, a dresser. It came with, no, it just came with like a dresser and two nightstands. But I can tell that it was from, and I bought these from black people, but I can tell it was expensive. These was rich black people because it was heavy as fuck, okay? You can drop that bitch down the stairs and that bitch gonna get up and be like, what's up? Put me together. That's how expensive it was. And it was heavy as hell. And you know, wood, wood is heavy anyways. I have no idea why wood is heavy. Maybe because it comes from trees, but wood is heavy. So I paid like $500 for that bedroom set. And that's how I ended up with my bedroom set. But after a while, I just got sick of looking around my house and seeing that, damn, all my shit is like hand-me-down shit I got from everybody. And I'm like, when I get in my new apartment, because I like to set goals for myself. And that was a goal for me, is to get me some furniture that I went in a store and picked out. And for it to match. <laughs> so... I wanted to get rid of it. That was my goal. When I moved into my new apartment, I felt like that that brown furniture had had enough. It had went through bad relationships, fallouts, makeups, breakups, all of that. And I was like, okay, I'm just done with the drama and I'm just done with the furniture. And that's why I got rid of the damn furniture because it was bringing back too many motherfucking memories that I did not want to motherfucking remember. So I got rid of that, and I'm like, this is a new start for me. I'm starting over. And at the same time, I gave away the furniture. I became celibate and all that. I'm like, listen, I'm just starting over new. I'm not doing this no more. I'm just going to become celibate, sell this fucking furniture, and I'm going to start over. So that's why I tell y'all all the time, like, it don't have to be a a perfect day, a certain day, a certain time, a certain year for you to start over. You can start over like every 30 minutes you can start over. When you make that mistake, start the fuck over. And I, I felt like that once I had made a mistake that I was stuck. That's how I used to feel. But like once I, baby, once I gave away all that shit and I looked around my house and there was nothing there. And I was still in my old apartment when I gave this stuff away. I, I had like three days left in this old apartment. And I was walking around that apartment where all the drama took place and went down. And I just felt so free. So when I got into my new apartment, even though my goal was to get my own apartment, I was like, I'm just loving how free I feel without 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 the drama, without the furniture, without having to um, call, uh, make arrangements for a U-Haul, pay, pay movers, and all of this stuff. I didn't have to do any of that when I moved. I did because I had my washing and dryer because I wasn't leaving without my motherfucking washing and dryer. And I wasn't leaving without my, my bed and my son's bed. That's the only thing I felt the need to take. So... And I put that shit in my trunk. <laughs> Cause I had a I had a big truck at the time. So I just put that shit on my on my on my um on the back of my truck and had to pay some guys twenty dollars a piece to move my shit. Which I already know. I gave them like sixty dollars together to move my shit. I think I gave them like eighty dollars though. Cause they worked hard. They really worked hard. And you know, I was thankful because they worked hard and they were like homeless people. So they were black. And I still think about them to this day. Like it's crazy because I just want to know that they were okay. Because sometimes people are in a bad situation. That's why I never judge people. 
Because just because a person is homeless, it doesn't mean that this person is a bad person. Sometimes good people, majority of the time, good people end up in bad situations. That's how I feel. I feel like that bad things are always happening to good people. Like, I really feel that way. But, um, you know, I had to look out for them because they made sure. And they had so much respect around my son, knowing that my son is a black man, too. And they just checked themselves like they wouldn't cuss in front of him, knowing that before my son came in the picture, because I had to go and find them. I found them while my son was in school. So they literally had to get in the truck and ride with me to back to my son's school to pick him up so I won't be late picking him up. And so they were so respectful. And that made me like not judge people because you never know like who a person is just because they're homeless. And they, they moved my stuff. That's all I had to do. They moved my bed and they moved my son's bed. They moved my wash and dryer. And that's all I had in my house when I was in Alabama. And I was fine with that after a while. Then after a while, I'm like, bitch, my back hurt. <laughs> I need to sit down in a chair. I need to do something. Like, I need some back support because sitting in the bed all the time is not what it is. Like, I can't do it. So... I turn back to my goal. My goal is to fix up my house, make my house a home. And when I got these chairs and I sat down in this chair, and this is a bar stool, as a matter of fact, because I told y'all I bought like a bar table because my little area right here is small. I'm gonna have to get a rug for that, get a rug for that, and get some picture frames to go on the wall. And, um, get me some pots I mean not pots but I do need pots too I'm gonna buy dishes too but my kitchen is going to be the last thing I do my kitchen really is going to be the last thing I do I thought it was going to be the first thing because I spent so much time in the kitchen but I have not spent any time in the kitchen like this is my first time being in the kitchen in like two months like really so I'm going to fix up my little dining room table. I'm going to get me some end tables to go with. Y'all going to love my furniture. When y'all see my furniture. Mm. I ain't going to tell y'all too much. I'm just going to do a furnish apartment tour. And that should come. I don't know why my titties look like they so big today. Like, why are they so big? I'm mad at them. Like, they showing out. But, um, I'm just going to do a furnished house tour once I get done with everything. Have my little pictures up on the wall. And that should take me probably, I'll say probably, what is it, March, April, May. June and I'm gonna be reasonable because sometimes I'll be biting off more than I can chew So it's March It's April now cuz we only got what how many more days eight more days nine more days in here and um, He laughing at me <laughs> um, Puff puff pass that's what I'm talking about y'all where the trees at for real y'all be I need me some trees because I'm ready to get hot and cool to brown around this motherfucker. But, um, let's see, March, April, May, June. I'll say July, I will do the, uh, the, the, the furnished house tour in July. Yeah, I should have everything. Like I said, only thing that may not be done is my room. But I will have my bedroom set. I mean... I won't have my bedroom set because y'all already know I'm bougie. I'm so bougie. And the bedroom set that I want, it's expensive as hell. So that's why I went and got my son stuff, my son bathroom. I'm going to do everything else first. And my room in the kitchen will be last. I know y'all like, you always put yourself last. Because y'all know those are my two favorite places. Well, my room is not really my favorite place. Um, But the kitchen really is my favorite place because... I love to eat. 
that's where the food at. So, um, but my room is my room. And I know y'all like, you always put yourself last. I do. I always put myself last because I have a son and he come first. Duh. So, and my baby, he outgrow. Thank you. Thank you for the bunny. He outgrows his stuff faster than I do. And that's why, because I'm always buying him shoes. I'm always buying him clothes. I can never get around to buying me anything because before I can buy me anything, he's growing out of his shoes. He need underwear, socks. He need food. He need this. He need school supplies. He need all of this. So, of course, I always put myself first. I'm supposed to put myself first. But I want to get his stuff first. Because I want him to have his bunk beds. He been asking for them bunk beds forever. Like, my baby really want bunk beds, bro. I don't know. And I was thinking about it last night because I was looking at the instructions on um, the bunk beds. Because I have the bunk bed, but I haven't just, I haven't put it together yet. It's a lot. That's why I'm having me a drink. Because I've been putting up shit. I put up my bar stools. I'm putting up my shelf. I mean, my um, my computer stand. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put up my chair. I'm going to try to clear this living room. That's the first thing I'm going to do. That's what I'm working on right now. That's why I'm like, I ain't even think about that shit today. Like, I don't even care if it get done today. You know? Sometimes you just have to walk away. I need help. I need, <laughs> I need help. SOS. Seriously, I need help. But, um... I'm doing good, y'all know, because I got my little drill, and I'll be like, eh, eh, you know, and I'm doing it with nails, so I, I just think it's so cute, and I told my dad, I was like, my dad was like, did you get the stuff put together? I was like, you already know you taught me well, because when I was growing up, I think my family probably thought I was going to be gay, <laughs> because I used to love to do what my brothers did. Like, anything my brothers did, I would love to do. Like, anything. Like, when my dad used to be under the cabinet fixing shit in the house, I used to be right up under that motherfucker. I knew what a monkey wrench was. I know a, a flathead. I know fucking drill. I know box cutter. I know my tools <laughs> for me to be a girl. Like, a real girl. Like, bitch, I'm not gay. So my family thought that I was going to be gay because I used to like to do what my fathers did. I don't know why I used to like to do what my fathers did. I think it was because it was different from what my mother did. Like what my mother, my mother used to do, my mother, and I think I took from both of my parents because I know how to fix things. And it's kind of weird because people love to say that you can't teach your son to be a man. But I be teaching him how to fix shit though. You feel me? I be teaching him. So, and he love it. Like, I actually, I told y'all that I, I bought, like, two stands to go in the um, bathroom. Well, yeah, to go in my son's bathroom. But I bought two to go in my room because my bathroom is so small. But I have more stuff for, than my son. You know, I have my, my, hair, my hair products, all that shit. So, um... I bought another stand for Noah, but you know, Noah is the one who put up the stand in my room. I put one together and I showed him how to do it and he put the other one together. So I bought another stand for his bathroom and I'm just going to leave it there. So when he um, come home, he can put it together because he loved to fix things. And I just left it there like I just left it in the living room when he was putting that stand together. I just left it there. And let him put it together. And he'll go back to it and fix it. And then he, I, I'll teach him how to just walk away from things when he's trying to fix something. Just walk away from it. And then when he feel like he can go back to it, he'll go back to it and he'll fix it. And eventually he fixed it. It's in my room right now. And my baby is only seven years old, mind y'all. And he fixing shit. So I took that from my dad. And I do know how to do hair. You know, I know how to do nails and stuff. I know how to do the girly things too. But 
doing fixing things with my dad really made me feel like I was doing something. You know, when you can fix something that's broke, it make you feel like you the shit. Like, yeah, I done fixed that shit and it and it and it broke and you just put it back together. So I used to like that too. I used to like that too. I'm gonna take my wings out. Because these motherfuckers, this motherfucking crock pot is hot. I'm going to put me a pizza in this motherfucker. Y'all, my stove went out. So, I'm warming up pizza in my crock pot right now. I mean, not pizza, but I'm warming up hot wings. Ooh, look at that. I would not put my tongue on there. I'm going to put me a, piece, a slice of pizza in here. Let me put me a slice of pizza. So. Let me put two slices of pizza in here. Pizza. Ah, shit. Motherfucking crock pot hot as hell. I'm gonna put this in there because this is stuffed crust pizza. My baby loves stuffed crust pizza. Thank you for the hearts. So I'm gonna let that cook for a minute. It probably take like another 30 minutes. This is going to be a long video on, on YouTube. I don't even care. But um, Yeah, I just feel, I just can't wait till my house get done. I can't wait till I get done fixing up my house. And I'm going to put the pizza on low because I don't really want to eat it right now. I was about to look at the camera. It's 2.04. Oh, okay, what? Let me see. What y'all talking about? Ooh. Yeah, I'm going um, to let that pizza cook on low so that I can eat it probably later. All right, y'all, so this is for y'all. Guess you can call this a hot wing mukbang. I've been doing mukbangs a lot lately, huh? Mmm. Mm. This is Papa John's pizza. My favorite pizza. This is my favorite pizza, y'all. And I'm the type of person that love to drink. Well, I do love to drink. But when I drink, I like to eat hot wings. I like to eat hot wings. <laughs> so... I'm going to end this video right here because I want to be nosy.
and I'll see y'all in my next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, then subscribe to my channel. If you already are subscribed, then you already know what to do. Make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all of this. Period. Peace until next time. And if Noah was here, goodbye.